folks, welcome back to Jerome Bee Farm and Homestead. It's been a while since we made a beekeeping video because it's winter. <laughs> so I'm going to harvest a honey super in December, which is uh, probably not well advised to do that. It's a pretty nice day today. It got up to about 56 degrees. Uh, the sun's shining, but it's setting and uh, bees were out flying some today. But uh, I've got a honey super left still on hive number 10 and I need to get it off of there. So I've checked the weight of Hive 10 and it's very heavy, even without that super. Uh, so I'm not gonna take away food that the bees need, uh, but I do wanna get it off there because it's a uh, fall honey and uh, it needs harvested. The story on that super is, uh, I believe there were two on that hive <clears throat> in the spring and summer. And when I did my uh, harvest in July, uh, that one wasn't quite capped off, so I left it and they finished it off capped it up in the fall and uh, it's good to go now so i've got a pretty short weather window here it's supposed to get down into the 20s tonight and uh, rest of the week supposed to be really cold and uh, i may not have an opportunity to get that off of there uh, for quite a while so uh you don't want to leave a honey super on your hive over winter especially with a queen excluder uh, you can leave them on there, just you don't want that queen excluder in there. And the reason is, if the bees work the, the, the ball of bees as they work their way up through the winter, eating through the honey, uh, the worker bees and all the other bees will work their way up into the super and the queen can't get through that excluder and they'll leave her behind and she'll freeze to death down there. So you'll lose your queen. Uh, that's a possibility. So don't leave uh, your queen excluder in over winter. That's, that's a big no-no. So uh, that's another reason I need to get it off of there. Uh, I could just pull the excluder, but uh, I have a customer that actually prefers the fall honey. In fact, she came bought some today and uh, it's fall of last year. So this will be fall of this year. So uh, that'll give me some more honey that I could uh, harvest for her. And I'm gonna get it up into the barn and get it in there where it can, I, it, I can get it warmed up and uh, we'll spin it out. So. I'll quit the yapping and let's get in there and see if we can get it off of there without causing too much ruckus. I'm just going to try and smoke them down and uh, then I'll blow them out, uh, the rest of them. So let's get started. Okay, I have no idea how these bees are going to react, but uh, hopefully they're uh, not too aggressive. But I'm going to give them some smoke down here and then smoke them in the top and we'll see if it gets too crazy we may just uh scuttle the mission abort the mission no bees up there that's good hopefully they're all clustered down here in this uh super or the deep body there Oh, this is perfect. I see like only a couple of bees up here. <clears throat> Got this grapevine hanging down it's where I was working on these trees from the ice storm. I just got the big stuff out of the way. So there's one lonely little bee right there, but yeah, normally when it's warm out, you'll see a bunch of bees up in there. They're clustered down below, it appears. So I'm going to put some smoke up there just in case to keep it from coming up. Got these uh, beetle blasters. So I want to get them out. I don't want any of that. Uh... Man, look at all these beetles underneath there. They're dead. These are hive beetles. So they're good beetle traps underneath too. Actually, those beetles started moving. They were moving slow. All right. I think I'm going to smoke. I'm going to crack this and lift it up and smoke just underneath it. Because I don't see many bees up there at all. 
fact, I may not even need to smoke it. No. No need. Set this right here. Get this excluder off. Well, that ticked off a few of them. Get the cover back on here. So since I broke the seal on this and the propolis is broke loose, this can move real easy. So I'm going to put this brick on here. So when we get a nice warmer day, get some sunshine on this, it'll seal itself back. Okay, so I brought my, uh, my blower here. There are a couple of bees in there. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of air just because. Yeah, so I did blow out a couple of bees, and uh, so I'm looking at this. Looks like uh, most of these are full, except for these two outside ones. And it is pretty dark honey. And that's probably, oh, 35 pounds or so, 30 pounds. So one thing about this time of year, I don't have to worry about uh, robber bees chasing me down. Trying to get into this. Okay, so I'm going to get this up to the red barn you see over to my shoulder there. And uh, we got the little apartment in there that's left over that's like a workshop now, and it's all insulated. And uh, I can get this honey super in there. And get it warmed up and uh, I could even put it in the bathroom area that's a smaller space and put some space heaters in there and warm this up to uh, you know 75 80 degrees so it'll flow good and then we'll get it harvested so uh, let's head up to the barn and get it in the apartment Yeah, so the wind tore off my door closer. We get a north wind, man, it really goes through there. Let's, uh, let's get one of these out of here and check it out real quick. All right. So this honey is probably going to be kind of a blend of some uh, late summer and fall honey. A little bit of spring so it really doesn't look that dark but uh, this was not capped in July so I left it in there and it's all capped now so I'd say it's gonna be a blend well this one here next to it is darker for sure Yeah, so you can see the difference in the two frames, how much darker that is. On this side you can see kind of a mixture. So these cappings that it's light, 
uh, that's what's called a dry capping and the ones that are dark it's a wet capping so it has to do with uh, how full it was I believe when the bees capped it off and uh, wet capping means there's honey touching the cap and these light ones uh, there's no honey touching that cap so it stays light colored well that's it uh, winter harvest how about that <laughs> So some of y'all probably thought I was nuts. So I was questioning myself and in going into that hive. Uh, I had no idea. I, it might have just exploded on me and went crazy. But man, that was super easy. So that's the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.